As you can see, I have Homeworld Emergence, aka Cataclysm, running just fine. This is Windows 10. Alright, uh, if we go into a mission, I get beautiful 60 FPS. This is one of the standard resolutions, but I can also run it at 1080p. I'm gonna show you in a second. But the cool thing is, if I press B, there is no lagging. This is uh, one of the major issues that exists. So let's get out of here and let me show you what I did. To play Homeworld Cataclysm or Emergence on a modern system, you gotta have your registry editor ready on this key or maybe a similar one if you are on 32-bit instead of 64. I'll show you that in the description, I guess. For 32, this is for 64. And let's just launch the game once. Screen is gonna turn black and resize stuff. It's also not gonna work. Use Task Manager to kill Cataclysm. Yeah, just kill it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on. Okay. All right, make sure you have a bat file in the same folder that has this in content. Cataclysm.exe space slash windows space slash no border. Gonna be useful later. Okay, remember that registry editor stuff? Update it. Press F5. Now you have Sierra Online Cataclysm folder. Um, change screen depth to 32 in decimal. Height to in decimal 1080. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go with 1080. Screen width in decimal, don't forget that, 1920. All right, let's run Cataclysm with the launcher. Mm-hmm, patience, all right. Okay, so this is nonsense, of course. Let's go to options, let's go to video, let's set this to GL, default OpenGL, 32-bit uh, 1280 by 1024. But before we do that, let's go to D3D primary display, set it to the same. And I'm gonna click with a mouse down here, moving it down slowly. Did I? Yeah, okay. I, I got the uh, accept button. All right, so this looks good. We can just change the resolution and it will work well, right? No. If we ch test training and go into this and press B, then you will see the mouse is laggy, the rotation is laggy, everything is laggy, this sucks. So quit out of this. Go to Options, Video, switch to GL Default OpenGL, and now Accept. But before we do this, let's take a look at this nonsense. 3DFX OpenGL just doesn't work. Oh, it kinda does? But, but why does it, like, fill the whole screen? What? Well, that's weird. Okay, if we go to training and test it, I think it's gonna have the same error with the uh, laggy. Oh, no, it works. Huh. Jeez, this game is behaving so erratically. Alright, let, let's just assume that we are cool with this. Let's quit the game. Let's update registry editor and just change the resolution, I guess. Uh, we are locked to 16-bit though, I believe, so I guess that's a problem. 1080 and decimal 1920 okay okay let's try also it doesn't seem to be able to handle windowed mode okay and we're back to this problem so that's why this doesn't work well you know what we can try video mode software shall we <laughs> click 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 yeah this looks cool doesn't it doesn't it no go to options and go to uh, the, the vi video and go, go to the open gel option go Pick the lowest one, accept, all right, accept again. And now let's see, in training, if we go and press B to build, the mouse is not lagging, the rotation is not lagging. We are done here, we finished, we completed this. We can play this now. And now to get it at good resolution, all you gotta do is update registry, registry editor, set screen height and decimal system to 1080 and screen width in decimal system to 1920 and use the launcher. Again, oh, okay, I, sorry, I didn't wait until the recorder saw the menu, I just skip, skipped right in there. Still, this works perfectly. All right, cool. <sighs> Let's see. Now, one more thing we can do is just double click the exe file, cataclysm.exe instead of using this windowed mode. I don't think it's going to make any difference, though. Oh, crap, it resizes my screens. But then it resets some... Uh, what? It's it's now on the wrong screen. 
not cool, not cool, bro. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the launcher. This is really CPU heavy though. I'm at 100% CPU utilization. Crazy, crazy how these things work. Anyways, this is how you get Homeworld Emergence aka Cataclysm to run. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. It's, it's tragic really. While the frame rate is 60 frames, as you can see by this rotation, it's beautiful 60 frames. I even recorded this video in 60 frames per second, even though it's just a tutorial. But the thing is, if you move stuff around, look at this laggy nonsense. It's just, it's just how this game was programmed. It's just, every position is updated at about 18 frames. It's insane. It's so ugly. I mean, if you rotate around static stuff, perfect. But if you follow stuff that's moving, uh, let's just focus on these and move. Clicking the objective listing. So freaking jagged. I'm getting such a headache just thinking about having to enjoy this game at 18 frames per freaking second. Well, I don't know how to do how to fix that. I don't think it's possible unless somebody knows how to reverse engineer the whole engine and figure out that one line that sets the timing on this. Maybe, maybe then. Anyways, uh, enjoy Homeworld Cataclysm. Until next time, ciao. Restart lesson. Pressing the backspace key will skip from one speech event to the next.